Hey guys, it's Tiffany and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I am going to be making my graduation dress. Woo! Yes, so it took as I have mentioned in the video, it took about like a month and a half, kind of about a month or a month and a half, just because I had run into some issues, but you know, I will explain that in a video. So just keep watching so you can see how I did it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell so you can stay tuned the next video. So yeah. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Comment down below any other video suggestions that you think I should do. If you like the video, if you would do it, if you want to try it out. Oh, and also, by the way, the design of the dress is not my design. I saw this design somewhere and I'm using it for inspiration. I just want to point that out. But yeah, stay tuned and watch the video. So what I started doing is I used a one shoulder shirt that I already had. And um, I just used that to cut out the top bodice so I didn't have to make a pattern for it. So I just cut it on fold and then I used a bodice piece that I already had made for myself so that the garment will fit to my measurements. But this is where I messed up, okay? Your girl messed up because I didn't know anything about lining. I didn't know that you had to use lining when you're doing forward stretch fabric but that's why i messed up so as you can see right here i am about to pin the two bodice pieces together but what i should have did is i should have also used those bodice pieces that i cut out to cut out some lining um for the bodice so that it won't stretch vertically and horizontally so like i said i'm using a four-way stretch fabric if you're not using a four-way stretch fabric I mean you can use a lining i don't know i don't think you really have to but especially if you're using a four-way stretch lining i mean four-way stretch fabric you want to use a two-way stretch lining so it can give your garment some structure so as you can see what i'm doing right there i cut out my arm piece because um like i said this is a one shoulder dress so i used a pattern that i already made that was custom to my arm measurements so i used that to cut out and like i said i cut out on fold um just to make it easier on myself and now i'm just pinning that so to pin the arm piece to the top bodice you just want to align the top of the curve on the arm piece to the top of the curve on the bodice piece on the shoulder um so that it can match up and um i just used a youtube video there's plenty of videos out there on how to make a arm bodice for yourself so that's what i did and here i'm just sewing the arm piece to the bodice with a straight stitch So as you can see, I am about to start cutting out the circle skirt. So right here, I folded the fabric right sides together and then I folded it again so that I can create a corner piece that I can cut out so that um, I'll be able to cut out the full circle instead of um, half the circle and then sew them together on seams. So I'm just using a pattern piece that I already made for myself a while back. Um, I'm basically just using patterns I already had just to make my life easier. But as you can see, I cut out that corner part like I was talking about earlier. That's going to be where the waist is. And now I'm just cutting out the circle. So now because I'm making the circle skirt two layers, I am going back and I am cut cutting it again on fold so again I folded it once then I folded it twice 
so I'm modifying the circle skirt pattern that I already had because I was starting to run out of fabric and plus I wanted the second layer to be um, shorter than the first layer so right here I'm still using the waist um, the waist measurements um, to cut out because the waist is gonna be the same but then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure measure the fabrics on the side so that I can get as much out of the fabric as I can so like I said since the pattern is bigger than the um, what fabric I have left so right here I don't know if this makes sense I'm trying guys I'm trying but what I'm trying to do is measure from the waist to the edge of the fabric so say for instance I only have like 17 inches of fabric left so I'll measure 17 inches on one side 17 inches on the other side and then I'll start going around to form a circle if that makes sense if you're confused please comment down below and let me know and I'll try to explain it better but that's basically what I'm doing I'm just creating a smaller circle skirt pattern on the fabric if that makes sense so I can have two circle skirts so now this, that's the first layer that's the longest layer and I'm about to um, put down the second layer which is the shortest layer so the waist measurements they match up because like I said you have the same pattern for the waist um, but as you can see the first layer is much longer than the second layer just because I am going to add horse hair and I want to conceal the horse hair I don't want it to be seen so I need more seam allowance and I guess I wasn't sure how much I was going to need so it's better to cut it longer than have it too short because if it's too short then I can't do nothing with it so now I'm just pinning the two pieces together at the waist and I'm just gonna do a straight stitch all around there where I'm pinning it. So what I'm doing right here is I am cutting out the lining for the top bodice. So as I had mentioned earlier, I messed up because I should have done this part in the beginning. As you can see right there, the fabric is two-way stretch because it only stretches in one direction. And that's what I needed because the bodice, what, um, because the skirt is two layers and the fabric is kind of heavy, it was stretching the bodice um downward so it was like the bodice was like supposed to start around my waist but it was stretching it so it started like around my hip and it just it did not look cute so i had to get some lining i learned that i had to get some lining that was two-way stretch that was still stretched like around my body so horizontally but it wouldn't stretch vertically so it wouldn't stretch downward and like make the garment look misshapen and weird so that's what i'm doing here um and like i said if i had done this in the beginning it would have been easier because i had already at this point i had already hemmed like the top um portion of the bodice so like i said it would have been easier so don't make my mistake don't make it harder for yourself do it right the first time to do it since like I said I messed up in the first place and then I'm just gonna um, 
pin the sides down and the bodice part is almost finished. So one of the last things I'm doing is pinning the top bodice to the skirt. So what I did is I surged the, um, the waist of the skirt and I surged the bottom of the bodice just so you know they can have clean edges. And I also inserted a zipper, but I'm not the best at putting in zippers. And plus that one that I had in there, I had to replace it anyway because I did it wrong and it broke. So you can always look up the tutorial on how to install a zipper properly but yeah so after i pinned i'm just going to do a straight stitch just sewing the top to the bottom and then i'm going to insert the horse hair and this baby is almost done so here is me sewing on the horse hair on the bottom of the two circle skirts so this is the first layer i believe so i just sew that all the way around i got black horse hair but it didn't really matter what color i got because it's not gonna be seen as you can see because i folded the horse hair under the fabric and then i'm just going to sew that down so that um the hair the horse hair is not exposed but then eventually i'm going to fold it over again just because i wasn't liking how long the first layer was and how short the second layer was so then i folded i think either one more time or two more times um just so the first layer wouldn't be so long so it will look cute so yeah again you can look up a tutorial on how to put in horse hair because this was my first time doing it so this was all new to me as well like a lot of things in this video i was learning as i was going so this isn't it's kind of a tutorial kind of not kind of just like watch me create or make my graduation dress <laughs> as we learn along the way because yeah i'm not a professional i will say that i'm not a professional but yeah this was um this was pretty fun making all in all it took me like honestly it really took me like a month maybe a month and a half to make this dress it it wouldn't have taken me that long but um once i had run into that initial issue of when the skirt was pulling the top bodice downward i just like completely stopped uh sewing on it and i was like trying these other methods i don't know i was trying other methods that wasn't working and then 
I had to ask somebody for help, my aunt. Shout out to you, Auntie Vita, if you're watching this. But she had to help me figure out a solution on how to fix the problem. So after I figured out that lining was the issue, I was like, wow, I could have been done with this dress. So yeah, it took me like a month just to do the whole thing. Just because like I said, I was procrastinating trying to try to figure out a solution on how to fix it but it was fun making and it was really cute and i'm glad i made it and also by the way i know i'm kind of rambling a little bit but i don't know where i got this fabric from like this is fabric that my mom had and she never used she had it from years ago she might have bought it from joanne's i'm not sure don't quote me on that but this fabric was fun to work with so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video you know what i mean i might be a story video it might not but if you turn on the post notification bell you will know if it's a story video or not okay okay bye oh comment down below also if you have any questions about anything that i said in this video if you have any questions just let me know and i will try to respond to you bye